in all of my flipped classes. Actually, when I first started flipping for a year, I did not use clickers. And the class activities were uh, rather uh, <laughs> weak, shall we say, and I relied on students to ask questions. And my attendance was not phenomenal. And then I was like, dude, something's got to shift. This isn't cool. So then I started using clickers and have been for the last since, what would that be, 2013, I've been using clickers. Clickers, my children love them. They're like little remote controls. When they get to come to one of my classes, the first thing they ask is, can I have a clicker? And then they love clickering in the wrong answers to the questions. The punks, what's up with that? So I use the Turning Tech clickers. I don't know how long that's going to last. Part of me wishes that I wasn't doing it that way. They're kind of expensive in the bookstore. I do have some to borrow, so if you're interested in borrowing one, uh, give me a holla holla, and I'll put you on the list. First come, first served. You do have to give me a deposit of $25 so that I can keep them up, replace batteries, and um, make sure that if you disappear that I'm not out a clicker, which has happened too many times. You give me a deposit of 25, I will give you back a $20 bill at the end of the semester when you return your clicker to me. So really you're renting the clicker from me for five bucks, which is a stealing phenomenal deal. Okay, there's something else that I wanted to tell you about clickers, and it was, oh, this is how they work. They're so fun. So in class, what I'll do, in addition to other things, like I often do things that are not clicker-based, but you will earn points for being in class and answering clicker questions that are spread throughout the entire day's work. So you would get a question like this. They're usually multiple choice, and you would click in your response. Like everybody knows that there is no simple cuboidal epithelium in bone organs, and so then you would proceed to click in C as your answer. And then I get to click uh, space, and up comes the distribution of our answers. Now, I don't know what's the matter with you guys out there because um, we had equal numbers of people getting all the wrong answers. Just kidding. And then what happens is that the correct answer comes up if we ended up with something like this. I probably would have you fight about it in class, find somebody who voted differently, and then um, try to convince them that your answer is correct. We would re-poll it. We'd see if we fixed the problem. If we didn't fix the problem, clearly there is a misconception out there that must be dealt with. We try to figure out what the problem is and make it so that in the end everybody knows that this kind of tissue you wouldn't expect to find in a bone organ. Uh, yeah, that's it. That's all. That's 5% of your grade that you get for coming to class and being conscious and participating. So it's a little bit of motivation, a little bit of reward for doing something that you should be doing anyway, right? Okay, let's talk about the external brain, which is another thing that I do in all of my classes.